Hey everyone, it's Anna with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff, and I'm here again with another project video. We have, Stampin' Up! has so many amazing products retiring here. When I'm making this video, this is uh, April of 2020. It's going to go on YouTube, so some of you will be watching this afterwards, but we have tons of amazing products retiring here shortly. Uh, lots of them are available while supplies last. Our stamps are guaranteed through May 15th, but after that, if they run out, they're gone. But I have two sets here that I'm going to highlight on this card, and they are just two of two kind of like classic sets that you can use for tons of cards. So the two stamp sets are Boca Dots and Beautiful Promenade. So Boca Dots has the it just has two stamps in it but they give you the effect that you have done some kind of really cool technique on your card when in reality all you did was stamp that and it's really quick and easy and you can't mess it up really and then this beautiful promenade set that has gorgeous flowers and then also some really nice sentiments for thinking of you type occasions for the most part uh, pray, praying that this difficult road leads you to a beautiful destination. You're my everything. You're stronger than most, but even the strong need a shoulder to lean on. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, friend. P.S. I love you. You are loved. So this is a really nice set that I've made some gorgeous cards with it, but I wanted to make a really simple card today using these two sets and I'm going to use our Stamparatus, which I haven't used for a little while in my videos. So we'll put these two sets aside and I'll grab my Stamparatus here. And the first thing we need is this, this piece of white. I'll go ahead and tell you all the measurements. The white cardstock measures three by four and a quarter inches. The blue piece that we're going to mat that with measures three and one eighth by four and three eighths. And then we'll put that onto a white card base. So I am going to stamp the Boca Dots pattern in the background. And for this card, I'm going to show you the other one. I used this one on my first card that I'm showing you right now. And then the one we make together, I'm going to use this one. So here is that stamp. I never put the label on it, so you're not gonna see the label on the background. But I have, let's make sure I have everything set up right. Here's my Stamparatus. For rubber stamps, we do not need the foam mat. So I'm going to set that aside for a second. And I could use my magnet. A lot of times I just don't. I just push it up into the corner and leave it there. So I'm going to line up this stamp about in the center, bring over my plate, make sure it is stuck on there. Now I'm going to ink that with Sahara Sand Ink. And bring that over and stamp. Very nice. Now, I'm not sure what I did. It looks like the bottom got a little smudged. Something must have, I bet my paper popped up because it wasn't held down with that magnet. Now, I'm not concerned about that. We're gonna put a flower down there and it is not a big deal. So I'm gonna lay the flower on here where I want. And actually right now, because this is a photopolymer set with the clear stamps, I do need to bring this foam mat back in. So I'm going to slide this under my grid paper. You don't have to use the grid paper, of course, but with these next couple of stamps, I may go off the edge. So that's why I wanted to slide it in there. So I'll put this wherever we want. Bring the plate over and mount that. And actually, because we are going to stamp the sentiment and that flower outline with navy, I'm going to add the sentiment stamp as well and get that mounted on here. And I do have these mounted really close to the edge. We'll see if this works. Um, it is best if you can do your stamping away from the edge, but 
This will be a test. When I did it the first time, it worked fine. I do try to press a little bit harder over here on the edge to make sure that I get those inked and looks pretty good. So now you can set these up. This is a two-step stamping set. So this flower is now going to go inside of that other one. And I have my extra plate up here that I'm going to bring this down and mount this to. And we will ink this one with Seaside Spray Ink. So you can set this up, these flower stamps, so that if you wanted to make a few cards, you could stamp your dark outline and then stamp your light one and then slide a new one in, stamp your dark outline, stamp your light one. So it's really nice for repeat cards. There we go. Now I am going to add the leaves. I've got my leaf stamp mounted on a block here and I'll use some mossy meadow ink and add a few of these. Fill in a little bit more down here. And that is basically it for our stamping. So we'll go ahead and mount this to that piece of navy cardstock. And put this onto the card front. And there you go, just a really pretty simple card for a thinking of you occasion. And I will stamp the inside. I have the You Are Loved stamp. I had a hard time deciding which greeting to put on the inside because there are quite a few nice ones in that set that could be put on the inside. But I'll use You Are Loved. You could stamp some flowers on the inside if you wanted to. And I will add a few rhinestones. This is another one of our retiring products, our Noble Peacock rhinestones, which I really like because they come in an array of colors. And these are, these are colors that I find that I use a lot on my cards. So I'm going to use a few of these blue ones. Since our card is blue, and I'll add a few on that card. I'll add a few on this card too. So like I said, in case you missed the beginning part, both the both of the stamp sets that I use today are retiring. The Boca Dots and Beautiful Promenade. And they're really nice sets that you can use for lots of occasions. And I wanted to highlight them in today's project. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.